Welcome back to Bogey Lane for the semi-final match of this Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event. In this match, Phil Clough, who was the number four seed, is facing Richie Myrick, who is the number two seed. Phil is trying to win his third match in a row after wins over Tom Bishop and Dave Dupuy. Rich Myrick, as I'm sure you know, is a regular on the Western New England Tour and has enjoyed quite a bit of success out here. And there's a nice spare by Rich Myrick to begin. And a great try by Phil Clough on that 6, 7, 8, 9 split with some wood. He almost was able to convert that. Yeah, and he's got the 10. Nice little eye by Phil Clough to be able to get around that. Uh, you got to add the 7 without touching that double wood. So it's a 10 box in the first. Rich Myrick working on the spare. And look at that. 5, 7, 10. Nice pocket hit, but he gets nothing to look at. And Phil Clough hits the head pin as well, but punches out the 189. And Rich trying to just clip that 5 pin, doesn't quite do it. Phil trying to work out that ugly mess there. Rich Myrick takes an 8. And Phil with a 10. Nice uh, bounce back after punching out the 189. He cleaned it up for a 10 box. Rich Myrick with a splash in the third frame. He drops 9, leaving a 7 pin. Phil Clough, a very light 1-3 pocket hit, and he has 5, leaving the 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, with a piece of wood in between the 5 and 8 that might help him a little bit. And Rich Myrick misses that 7 pin. So he'll be open in the third. And kind of a nice try by Phil Clough, but that was a very difficult split. Rich hits the 7 pin on the third ball. Always easier on the third ball. But he will pick up two pins against the 8 box by Phil Clough. Rich Myrick with a strike in the fourth. That one was pretty quick. Let's take another look at it. You can see high flush, 1-2 pocket. And there's no doubt about that. Rich can throw some strikes, as I'm sure you know, from watching you know, some of his prior appearances on the Western New England tour. Rich bowls out of Canal Lanes in Southampton. And he's also a member of Crazy Train in the World Team Tournament, uh, Team Invitational Tournament that happens every November. Phil Clough with a 10, and we will look at the scoreboard. Phil Clough has 38 through 4. Rich Myrick with 45 plus the fill on the strike. Is it going to be another one? Yes, that's a double for Rich Myrick. This time he hits the 1-3 pocket, as you can see. And the 5 pin is the last one to go, so that's going to give him fast start against Phil Clough here in the first half. Phil Clough with a four drop and he's got a shot that could be made if he uh, hits the one three pocket but he misses a head pin just uh, takes out the 3-9, so he still has 1, 4, 7, and 10 to finish up his fifth box.
Let's take a look at the scoreboard through five. You can see Richie Myrick with 35 in the third, and then he had strikes in the fourth and fifth, and Phil Clough with 47 through five. So Rich is out to a pretty substantial lead through five as they switch lanes, and Phil Clough is on lane six. And, and Rich throws another pocket hit. Doesn't get the triple though, he, he's uh, just eight, and he leaves the 410. Piece of wood that he might be able to use. And he does. Let's have a look at the replay. You can see that Rich uses that wood to take out the 10, and the ball takes the, the uh, four pin, so that's a nice spare. Three marks in a row for Rich Myrick. And Phil Clough with a nice shot for a 10 box. But he's got a lot of ground to make up in the last four boxes against Rich Myrick. Phil drops seven, leaving the one, two, four. Rich Myrick with eight on the spare. He's left with a three and four. And Phil just misses the head pin, taking out the two and four. Spare opportunity goes by the boards. Still has the head pin to work with, to work on. And Phil Clough will take a 10 box. Rich Myrick with a nine. I'll look at the scoreboard. Phil has 67 through 7, and Rich Myrick with 110 through 7. So Rich has got a commanding lead at this point. Unless Phil can mount a comeback, Rich will move on to the finals and face Ed Tringali, who is a relative newcomer to the Western New England Tour, but he had picked up a paycheck last month at French King, as you probably remember. Phil with a nice shot for a spare in the eighth, and Rich Myrick also with a spare. Let's have a look at this. One, two, six, eight, ten. And Phil Clough splits the one, two, and uh, is able to convert the spare. Nice shot. But Rich Myrick matched that spare, so Phil is not gonna be able to gain much ground, if any. He adds five fill, uh, six actually, and Rich with four. And Bill Clough will take a six box. And Rich will take a four. Both guys uh, failed to get anything with their second two balls in that frame. Very uncharacteristic of either one of them, but uh, even the best bowlers make a few errant shots from time to time. Phil Clough back on the head pin in the 10th. Rich Myrick missing the head pin. He's not too concerned at this point because he has more than he needs. And there's a nice spare by Rich Myrick in the 10th. So Phil Clough will finish with a 10 box and that gives him a 99 string. So he will finish third in this Western New England Tour event while Rich Myrick will move on to the finals against Ed Dringelli. Rich Myrick finishes with a 147 to Phil Clough's 99, and Rich Myrick will be back to bowl against Ed Dringali for the title.